Riku su bleki riba kabes. E yon kuman riba su buriku. Nansa topa otro na pos. Te awe nan ta juntu nan dos. Na kamindi pos. Na kamindi pos e la conoce. Um, what I'm looking at here is information that the contract called for all wild donkeys to be captured and removed. All free roaming donkeys will be removed. All the males will be castrated and all the females and babies will be taken into confinement. There is no problem at all actually with donkeys. It's, it's something the people made of it because if there is sufficient water and uh, sufficient grass in the, in the natural environment for the donkeys, they will be not bothering anybody. Unfortunately, so many people did not realize that the plan um, was to remove every free roaming donkey from this island without uh, asking the people, without getting the facts and having all of the information. Leave those animals in the nature you know, and take care of them there. Mita quiere que el burrico no me se quede en la naturaleza, sí. He must stay in the... ¿Qué va a decir? In the nature. He must stay in the nature. I think that the people have to know that the, port, the, the donkeys are very important for us, not only now, but in the future. They play a big role in the whole history and the culture of Bonaire. When I asked what's the problem with the donkeys, what's going on, they said, we don't really have a problem with donkeys. We, we have a problem that people drive too fast and that there's not a lot of safety measures on the road. And as we take the donkeys home and we move into their areas and we block them from the water that they're used to getting, the donkeys are coming closer to town to try to make up for that water that they're, they're not getting. I work with tourists. Every time I look to the camera, the only thing I see, every time that they have a picture from the donkey, they call a service to say, hey, look at this. What we see on your island, donkey. And now they want to get rid of all of them. I don't think it is, it's nice for the, the tourists to visit here and also the people that grew up here with the donkeys in the past. Really bad because I work with the tourists and when the tourists saw the donkeys, the tourists, uh, be so happy and uh, they know the story that the, the, the people are killing the donkeys and they say why, so the tourists ask him why they do that. I, I love to hear the, the loras, the prikichis, uh, when I get, get uh, up in the morning. It's very quiet, no, no cars and you can hear the, the loras and uh, you can hear the, the donkeys when I live in, in Rincon. I hear the, the donkeys. I love that. That's why I'm living in Bonaire because I'm very part of uh, part of the of the nature, and it's very important to me. We all know where the donkeys come and the accidents are happening, but to have a statistical analysis, we can then work towards street safety for everyone, not just wildlife or the donkey, but accidents in general. And 15 years ago, the people want to uh, make the donkey dead, and. Um, one person write uh, letters to the um, queen from Netherlands and she stopped um, killing the donkeys. One of the wildlife ecologists that we're working with is Craig C. Downer. And he is a published author who has written a book uh, specifically on the wild donkey, uh, wild burrows and wild horses. He talks about the accusations, you know, that they're reducing local flora. And he, he says, you know, you don't want to discredit the fact that they contribute to greater biodiversity and ecological stability uh, in the ecosystem through exactly their feces. And that by dispersing these undigested seeds and providing nourishment to the other animals, the species of birds and lizards and iguanas. Um, the other important thing is that their, their feces, their poop, is also contributes to the, to the humus of the soil and that, that it creates um, moisture retention and does actually prevent erosion. And this, this wildlife ecologist has studied uh, the wild donkeys and wild burrows and tapers, all of the equids, uh, tracking their movements, their day-to-day -day movements um, to, to give factual information because so often donkeys are lumped together with goats. 
and that they're, they're grouped together as grazers and we have to get rid of the grazers without taking into account the special relationship that, that the donkeys contribute to the ecosystem. You know, 500 years, the donkeys have been here and they have been isolated to our island. And so they have genetically survived and they are a genetically unique species. The DNA testing did show that there is Nubian ass present here in Bonaire. Um, and uh, the, the future, you know, the bigger study is being done. But the bottom line is that we have a very genetically, we have a Bonarian donkey. And with all of the genetics aside, because that was not even an issue when we first petitioned the government, uh, with all of those genetics aside, the bottom line is it's the people of Bonaire's donkey. You know, the donkey is a, is a special creature. It's mentioned 444 times in the Bible. And Christ himself rode the donkey into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. His, his mother carried him in, in her womb on, on the back of a donkey to Bethlehem. So there's quite a significance to the donkey. The donkeys, the goats, the flamingos, and the parrot is part of Bonaire and they've been contributed to the, to the nature of the island, what they call the cycle of life. That's why we care for Bonaire, respeta.